my friends. Hello, hello. So nice to see names. Hi, Karen. Welcome here. How you doing, hon? Oh, my heart goes out to you. I am so sorry. It's it's hard. Bonjour, Lucy. Comment ça va? Darlene, hi. I saw you on another um, on another. What am I trying to say? On another Facebook Live here a little while ago. Oh, good, Karen. I'm glad you're doing better. My other girlfriend, actually, my my maid of honor. I saw her name. So if you're still there, please say hi. I don't want to call you out. Hi, Barb. And Barb, I've got you down for a share. Barb knows the drill. So the thing is, when you come onto my Facebook Live, when you share, you let me know that you share, and I enter your name for a draw. And so today's names will be drawn next week. The names I draw at the end of my live today are those that shared last week. Jenna, hi, hon. Welcome here. Uh, who am I writing down? Barb. Thank you for sharing, Barb. Got you down for the prize. So let me introduce myself. Um, well, hello, my curling friend, Donna. You know what? I, uh, I don't have the channel. I only have one TSN channel, and of course, it's on the TSN channel that I don't have. Jenna, thank you for sharing. I've got you down. Um, and Gail, I've got you down for sharing. And Karen, I've got you down for sharing. Hi, Candace, welcome here. Karen. Okay, so let me introduce myself. Um, and Lucy <laughs> shared. Okay, don't share for one, one second here, okay? And Susan shared. Um, I have two Susans, so I need your last name. Okay, so I've got you down too. And girls, when I bring the camera down, you'll see your names on the paper. And then um, if you don't see your name, then you know that I missed it. Um, so let me introduce myself. Hello, bonjour. My name is Denise Willerton, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Um, if you are watching live, you are on Facebook. Um, if you're not watching live, you're either watching my Facebook replay or you're watching on my YouTube channel. And while you're there on my YouTube channel, which is simply Denise Willerton, if you could subscribe to my channel, I would, I would be very grateful if you did that. I'm trying to up my numbers here. I'm, I'm creeping towards 200, so I'm getting greedy and I want some people, um, liking my, uh, my, uh, YouTube channel. Um, so welcome here. If you do not have Cherie, I'm going to write your name down too. Thank you for sharing. Um, I changed. Oh, you changed my name. Yeah, Dennis is my dad, Christine. And so you know what? I'm not offended when I'm called Dennis at all. It's actually um, an honor. So Cherie, thank you so much for sharing. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I knew a Cherie and that's exactly how she, um, she spelt it. So um, I've got you down for a share as well. So Facebook, YouTube, um, where was I? If you are in Canada and you need a, or would like to have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be honored to be that for you. Um, if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, that is wonderful. Uh, please stay though, because I hope to inspire you. And um, Tracy, you can't stay. Okay, I've got you down for sharing though. And your, your uh, card that you won last week is in the mail. Let me just get your last name there. Okay, so I've got you down to um, uh, Tracy. Thank you for sharing. Um, where was I? Yeah, and so if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, welcome here. Hopefully you're inspired. And even if you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I hope to inspire you today as well. Um, we are, or I am featuring, you're welcome, Tracy. Um, I am featuring, there's that look again. I do that a lot, don't I? It's just freaky. Um, Jean, I will mark you down for sharing right away here, hon. We are featuring uh, the treasured 
Treasures of Life stamp set. This is available till the end of June and then it's gone and I love this set. This is one of those uh, keepers for me for sure. Okay, Jean, let me get your name down and thank you for sharing. You did say you shared, right? Or did you do? Oh yeah, there it is. I shared, she said. Okay. Okay, Jean, and sorry I missed you today. Not a very nice day out. Wow, compared to what we have had. Okay, so let me um, introduce myself. Hi, Connie, welcome here, and thank you for sharing. I've got you down. I don't know how to do that, that wheel thing, and it, it's just like right now, there's so much learning that I've been doing. It's like, I don't even want to learn another new thing, so I'm staying old school where, where I actually write your names down, which I don't mind doing at all. Okay, so Connie, you shared. I've got your name down. Let me bring the camera down and um, we will get going. Sorry if that was awkward. Uh, you sent the yucky weather to us. There you go. We had summer. Like, we seriously did. Let me get some lights on here. Um, and let me bring this down. If you would like to place an order on my online store, that is the code that you would use. It drives me crazy when it's crooked. I think I'm a little bit OCD. Um, and that code expires at the end of this month. My YouTube channel is Denise Willerton. So while you're there, please um, subscribe to my page. I would love that if you did. I just want to chat really quick with you about um, the Stampin' Up! promotion that's on right now. If you sign up, if you would like to be on my team, and I have amazing women on my team, if I do say so myself, and thank you for some of my team members that are here. Stampin' Up! has a special right now. Um, you are able to receive $206 of Stampin' Up! product for only 135 and you oh thank you Darlene that's for you hun um, you do not need to do what I'm doing you don't need to do lives you don't need to uh, do a blog you don't need to do any of that you're just getting your uh, product at a discount if you want more info on that and you are in Canada let me know and I can chat with you about what that looks like. So, so far, these are all the sharers that I have. And if anybody else shares, I will add your name for a draw. And this is the first time in the 13 years that I've been doing Stampin' Up! that I actually talk about, uh, you know, coming and joining my team. So it feels really awkward for me. But there's just a special on right now. So for $135, you're receiving $206 in product. Kind of a no-brainer. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get on to today's card. Hi, Shell. Welcome here. Um, so like I said earlier, we're going to be playing with Treasures of Life. And I want to show you what I've done with that. And again, it's going away at the end of June insert tears because that does make me sad because I do love that set but before we get going can I just show you something and I showed you this um, wow months and months ago just a little trick that I do and it's probably not new to anyone um, but just in case you have forgotten I want to show you how I apply my twine because I don't have that extra hand with me, right? So I kind of envision, I know I want my bow over on this side. I'm working on sympathy cards because I am totally out. So I kind of eyeball how much I need for a bow and then I wrap and wrap and there's, there's the, the tail for my other bow and there's where I will cut. 
about there and I probably have too much but that's okay now I don't have that extra finger to help me hold down my twine so I take a glue dot and I try to make it into a little blob like so and I place it and actually where did I put my sentiment Ooh, I think I tucked it away oh no there it is so there's my sentiment I kind of eyeball where I want my sentiment and so I know I want my twine in about the center of my sentiment I'm going to put my little glue dot down there and press and now if I take my twine and stretch it across on both sides I line this up there we go I line this up where I want it and then I come back and I crisscross right over where my glue dot is and I press okay there's my extra finger see how that's just staying down now so that's how I do it so I wrap I figure out how much I want I put a glue dot where I know where I want the bow I crisscross it press down and now I can make my bow like so and then I can just manipulate it into the shape that I want. Let's bring that a little bit down and I will cut those tails because there's a little too much. And then I'll put a glue dot on that or uh, dimensionals on that and place that down there. Now, if I want the twine to splay a little bit, I can do that like so. But that's just my little tip and it's probably not mine I don't know that I've seen it anywhere but um, anyway I started doing that months and months ago and I know I did show you girls once upon a time and I thought I would just remind you all about it so thank you Shell I don't feel like a genius but um, that is genius and that's how I do my twine now on to our card Hi, Kathy. Welcome here, hon. Nice to see you. Okay, so here we go. I use the Treasures of Life. This is the card, and it, and this is featuring the, um, the polished pink. The polished pink. Okay. But I also wanted to show you two other cards that I made using the same set okay let's just make sure that we are are in here so there's the the grandma or the mom with the baby whatever you want it to be so this is obviously for a a little girl hi Leanne welcome here nice to see your name pop up here's the grandpa with the little boy okay I've got my finger on the stamp set and you can't even see it anyway. There's the grandpa with the little boy and there's the hand. And so if you have any questions about these, um, because I'm not featuring this one or this one today, I'm gonna feature this one, okay? So here we go. Let's set that aside. Oh, and you know what? I just wanted to, um, this sentiment here I cut out using this die from the potted succulents Regina hello welcome here hon so nice to see your name here I know I've seen you on YouTube and I am thrilled that you're here so that's the die that I used for this card here with the potted succulent dies I love these dies I like the um, the frames in there too and then on this side if you die cut this you can do that um, that uh, ah, sorry I'm trying to read at the same time can't do it uh, remember last week when I did the the technique using the brush over a Oh my goodness, my brain over a, a masked image. So you know what I did 
in the wee hours this morning, like at 3 a.m., I was wide awake. Unbelievable. I did not come downstairs into my studio, but I contemplated. This is the Hippo and Friends dies. Now, I did not get the stamp set. I might regret that. But this sentiment here was cut out using that. Okay? So that's where, that's where those came from. I just wanted to show you that. Okay? So, Regina, when I was a little girl, we lived in Germany. So that's why I was so excited when I saw you on my YouTube uh, channel the other time and, and you said hello. Um, my father was in the Air Force. I think I told you this. My father was in the Air Force and we were posted in Baden-Baden. Um, and my little brother and little sister were both born in Zollingen. So I just found that very interesting that you're from Germany and it just becomes a small world, doesn't it? Okay, so here's my card base. When I did, um, we, we did a Zoom the other night and one of my girls was showing a card that she made and another one of the girls, she was just like, how did you do that? So I thought, you know what, let's feature this fold today, okay? So I took a regular eight and a half by five and a half card stock, okay? So it's your eight and a half by 11, and I cut it in half, okay? Karen, you've been to Baden-Baden? Why did I not know that? That is very interesting. Well, I lived there for five years. So what I did, eight and a half, by five and a half, I scored at four and a quarter. And you always want to give your edge a really nice burnish, okay? Darlene, I love mixing and matching stamps and dies as well. So now we've got our card base, which measures five and a half by four and a quarter, right? Half of four and a quarter is two and one eighths. So you can do this layout as a fancy fold, which we will, okay, let's give that a burnish. Or you can actually cut off at two and one eighths, which is what one of um, the cards that was showcased on my Zoom class the other night um, that we did. Um, Regina, while I have you here, and everybody else too, sorry, I don't mean to exclude anyone here. Um, once a month, I do a Zoom class where um, the, the people, the friends that come together on my Facebook Live, where we can all put a face to our names. And Regina, if you are um, interested in joining in that, we would love to have you. Um, all you need to do is private message me your email address and I will add you to that list. And when I do my next Zoom class, um, you can come and join in the fun, okay? Now before I go any further, can I show you a couple of cards that came in the mail for me? Um, I still have some sympathy cards uh, popping in here and there, which does my heart good. So this is from my dear friend Terry who lives in Minnesota and see how the design paper, this is the hydrangea, can't say that, I think I said it right though, um, the DSP, it's doing all the work. So this was just so lovely to get that from Terry. Thank you for that Terry. And this is from my friend, same layout, same layout, see that? Same layout. This is from my friend Tamara um, in Edmonton. So thank you for that, Tamara and Terry. Yeah, we missed you too, Shell. Next time. So this is the polished pink on the featured card. And I thought I would use fresh freesia for the second card. And I see that I forgot my inside panel. Let me grab my design paper. 
and pull out a fresh freesia. And while I'm doing that, do you girls want it this way or this way? Keeping in mind, I'm doing everything else the same. It is a baby card. So checker or I don't know what that shape is. Regina, it is a very nice fold and it's super simple. It's super simple. You're basically folding it. Oh, that's not my in colors. I need my in colors. And where, oh, where did I put them? Shucks. Where did I put them? You think that would not be a hard thing to misplace, but for me it is. I thought I had, there, you know what? I had it in my bucket. Checker, I like the checker too. I like the checker too. So Dar, you liked it that way? For the baby? So let me get so there's the fresh freesia, and this panel is cut at four and one eighth, is it? No, it's four by five and a quarter. So that is going to be four by five and a quarter. So, checker or flower. And while I'm waiting for the verdict on that, I will get just because it would be different. Yeah, you know what? I totally hear you. I do. And you know what? This doesn't work for me. Or does it? I don't know. It does, it does not work for me. You know what? Let's do it different. Let's do it. Sorry, Connie. And sorry, Lucy. I'm going with this. So I want this side up. I'm going to put adhesive on the back. So yes, I can't remember what size is the checker. Uh, I'm not sure which one you mean. This one here is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So this is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And seven eighths is two tick marks smaller than two inches. This fresh freesia cardstock that I'm applying this to measures two inches by five and three eighths inch. Okay, let's go ahead and put that straight down on there. So those are the measurements for that. Hello, I see a new viewer has popped on. Welcome here. I do want to welcome you here. And um, I hope I inspire you today with my little card. And if you do share, I'm not going to call your name unless you say hello. Um, if you do share, I will uh, add your name for a draw. So I also want a panel behind that. Let's get some... You know, it's so crazy. I have um, I have a checklist that I check off before I start my live, making sure that I'm totally ready. And it one of the things is have everything you need ready to go. And I was like, yep, I'm ready to go. Well, I'm not. So this design paper here 
that measures four by five and a quarter and the card stock and I'll be right back and I'm gonna go cut it the card stock is four and one eighth by five and three eighths I will be right back So here we go, four and one eighth by five and three eighths. My design paper is four by five and a quarter. Let's get that onto here. I stuck my finger right in the glue and got some on there. I've got red dye on my hands. I am not bleeding, I promise you. Okay, let's get that down onto our card base. So this is just a regular card base, scored at four and a quarter, and then scored at two and one eighth on one side, which gives us our fancy fold. Easy peasy. Let's get that down on there. I like my Tombow for the wiggle room. I don't like my Tombow when I stick my fingers in it, truth be known. Okay, let's color this up using our Stampin' Blends. And you know what, they do bleed through, so you do wanna have backing on there. And I liked the way I colored this, so let's just stay with that as well. So that was the soft succulent light and dark. So let's start with the light and I'll just show you how I color. So I'm just a little bit slow when I go on my edges. And I like to work this way. So that's why I'm flipping around. And then I just fill in. I hope I'm in camera, I am. And I'm not worried about that whiteness yet. And then I come back with, do I want my brush tip? I'm gonna go with my, with my bullet tip and I like to just wherever there's already shading I like to shade it <coughs> pardon me I like to shade it in <coughs> pardon me <coughs> little sip of water here I had a little handful of nuts oh my voice I'm all squeaky. And now my eyes are crying. I can't see where I'm do what I'm doing. And now I come back with my brush tip again and with my soft or my light and I just pull all of that coloring together. Good thing that I don't have the camera on me because Seriously, I'm crying. And I'm not worried about this being different um, different lengths down below. It gives it more of a natural look rather than an exact straight line. Okay, I see someone else has just popped on too and I wanna welcome you here. I don't know if you got here when I was having my little coughing fit but I apologize for that. So that was the uh, Stampin' Blends, the soft, or the, the light and dark soft succulent. Let's grab, I wanted to grab light petal pink, that's ivory, for the, uh, the hand and the face. And um, I'm out. All I have is dark. So it comes on looking a little bit orange, but 
it quiets down after a while. So I, I did try to do it really lightly. And then with her hair, let's do light and dark crumb cake. So this one I used soft suede. This one here I used soft suede. Let's do light and dark crumb cake and uh, see what we prefer. So I always like to start with my light. And I'm not worried about white spots left. And then with my dark, um, I'm gonna go with my brush, or with my, yeah, my brush tip. I wanna fill in wherever there is natural um, lines already in the stamp and I did pre-stamp all of this it just helps to um, keep my live flowing a little bit better and now I'm going to come back with my light and I'm just going to color this in blend it in and I actually don't want to blend it in super carefully because I, I do want the illusion of highlights. Now, if you want even more highlights, you could grab your color lifter and you can just lift some of the color. It just lightens it a little bit in places. It's hard to tell probably from your angle, but I can see that it's making a difference here. So here we've got a darker hair and a lighter hair. I guess I could have made her blonde as well, okay? So now, um, yeah, that's for the inside. I'm gonna show you that. So now let's get some adhesive. Actually, you know what? I don't want adhesive behind this. I'm gonna put dimensionals because I love doing this when I have um, a panel like that because I love the look of that just popped a little bit from the frame so let's just put some dimensionals behind here and let's put one in the middle so it doesn't bow in we had so much fun on my zoom the other night and uh, one of the gals, she's not here, she's like, this is crazy. She says, we've been, we've been just, like, no agenda. Everybody was doing their own thing. And uh, she said, I made, I think she said four or five. Girls, I don't know if you remember how many she said she made. I don't want to, well, her name is Debbie, but, um, and I guess that doesn't really matter if I call her name out. So now that is on there. And I know get that out of the way. I know that I want this on here, right? On this panel. But I want to be careful that I'm not getting adhesive where I don't want it. So I know that this is the side that's going down on my card. Yeah, we had such a good time. Thanks for saying that, Dar. Um, that I decided we're going to do this every month. So every month we're going to do a Zoom. And if anybody wants to uh, partake in that, you can private message me your email address. And I will add you to the list. And no pressure. Um, there were some gals that said they wanted to come and they weren't able to. And so see how now I've got adhesive just on this side. Now let's get my sentiment. Congratulations on your newest little treasure. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And you know what? It's just we need community so bad right now. Especially here in Winnipeg. We are in lockdown. And uh, it starts to get to you after a while. I know it's gotten to me. Now what I want to do with this is I want to make sure that it is not sticking out, right? So let me show you how I did this. And maybe there's an easier way. 
Oh, Jean, thank you for saying that. My cousin's here. Hi, hon. I don't want to call you out unless you say hi, but oh my goodness, my heart is smiling right now. It's so nice to see your name. Okay, so this is how I put this panel down on the inside of my card where I can still keep it hid behind this. So all I do is, and again, I don't know if there's an easier way, but I hold it and then I just go straight down like so. You have your volume right up. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm talking loud. I am talking loud and I and I I hope I turned my volume up before I started. Let's see. Whoops. There, I don't know if that makes a difference. But thanks for letting me know, Barb. So now, because I held this panel here when I went down, now it's not showing. Now you can always, so I've got this, I've got this little strip here. We, why don't we do that? Um, I will cut that at about, what do I want? Uh, let's do three quarters of an inch. I hope that's not going to be too wide. I don't think so. So three quarters of an inch by five and three eighths. So I'm not going to put a, um, a cardstock behind here. And I haven't even put it on yet. Yeah, I did get louder because then when I stand up, I'm right by my mic. And yeah, so I could put this strip right down there. And you know what? I kind of like that. I'm going to do it. Yeah, my mic is uh, right in front of me. So I don't know. I don't know what to say. When I, uh, when I do post this on YouTube, I have an option to, uh, to raise my volume, and I always do. So now that little strip, again, was five and three eighths by three quarters of an inch, okay? So there it is with that little strip and here it is without and you know what I'm loving the little strip. Let's get some gems on here. These as far as I know are still not available and uh, I can't wait for them to be available. I think I'll order like 20 of them right off the hop. I love them. These are the uh, 2023 in color jewels. They're gorgeous. So this is the Fresh Freesia. So let's add one there and a different size. Uh, let's put it right there. And let's put a little guy right down there. So there are our two cards, okay? So this will be posted on Facebook. And um, thank you for the hearts, girls. And it will also be posted on YouTube, okay? And maybe I was rolling back on my exercise ball and then getting far away from my... Um, from my mic. Thank you so much, Karen. I guess I could bring these down a little bit. Um, yeah, sometimes it depends what technology you're on, where the volume is uh, 
compromised or not really loud or whatever. So, yeah, sorry about that. And thank you for the hearts and thank you for all the love. And uh, thank you for those that have shared. Uh, I've got Connie, Jean, Tracy, Cherie, Susan, FP, Lucy, Karen, Gail, Jenna, and Barb. Okay, these are the gals that shared today. If anybody else has shared and I didn't call your name out, please let me know so that I can add you for next week. And I will pull out for this week, draw. So Susan FP came to my unveiling and she shared. So I'm adding her name to the bucket. And last week's sharers were Gail, Dar, Karen, Barb, Jean, Tracy, Lucy, Lori, and Susan FP, okay? So I've got all the names in there. These are for next week. Oh, Darlene, you just shared? Okay, thanks, Dar. Let me add your name for next week. Thank you very much for that. I don't know if it's pouring rain out. Oh, Jean, you came to the to the Jean or to the Jean. You came to the unveiling and shared. Oh, did I? I think I mentioned you. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. So, Jean, I've got you down as well, and I'm gonna mark unveil. And I totally spelt it wrong. Okay. Let's bring the camera up. And hopefully, I'm not cut off, and I think I am. There we go. There we go. Okay, everybody's name is in my bucket. And I should have dampened my fingers. I got all my gardening done at the lake. I got all my gardening done at home. The flooring is all in at the lake. And so now it's just tidy up, get the dusting done and tidying up. Okay, here we go. I have, I have, I think I've got two. There we go, I dropped one. I have one name. The winner for today is Lucy and Lucy is not here. Um, I believe she had to work today. So Lucy, I will get a hold of you, my friend, and um, and get a card off to you. So with that, we are done, and I want to say goodbye to everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy your evening. It's Thursday, which means the weekend. Oh, Lucy, you are here. Do you want? Do you want fresh freesia or polished pink? And girls, I'd love for you to make a card. Sorry, as I spit everywhere. Make a card using this layout. Post it on your Facebook. Tag me. And all you do to tag me is you post your picture and you do at Denise Willerton or at Stamp and Shamois, and I will enter your name for a draw as well. Polished Pink, it's yours, my friend. So I've got your name in there, and um, we will hook up so I can get that to you. So with that, I'm gonna say bonjour, and thank you for coming. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you today, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend because the weekend is upon us. Okay, talk to y'all later. Bye now.